Hello and welcome to Ginger Prince. Now today I'm going to be making a little tool that I'm going to be using quite regularly in a lot of my work to be honest. Um, these you could go out and you could buy them but to me it's the sort of stuff that I'm going to be using them for. They're going to get a lot of paint on them, a lot of glue on them um, and I don't really want to be wasting money on these because they can be quite expensive to buy. So um, I wanted to make my own just so that if they do get paint on them or, or glue or they get broken for whatever reason then it's, it's not going to cost me a lot and it's going to be easy to either uh, reprint a different part that I can just repair or just reprint the whole thing in general. So today I'm going to be making a G-clamp. Um, I've got a few of these that I do own already and that's what I've based this design off of and I've tried to make it as simple as possible just because when you're making something like this it is quite difficult to get screw threads and things like that, that are accurate um, and to actually work so it took a little bit of work planning and um, I had to do a lot of measurements on one of the g-clamps I actually owned and I finally got there with the design um, it took me quite a while to work it out but I eventually got there so as you can see from the uh, the drawing I've got here this is your general g-clamp you've got the the frame there you've got the little uh, end plate on the left hand side there which is sort of the the supporting part and then here you've got the ring part which is the screw thread that goes through and that bit actually tightens up through there and actually holds whatever you want it to hold now I'll probably be using this majorly um, for spray painting um, I'm going to be using this for like holding things uh, that are a bit fiddly um, or just hanging them up in general um, just because they are lightweight and they're, they're easy to use and because they are made of plastic if they do tighten down anything they're not going to cause much damage so here you can see I'm working on the screw thread um, this is how I make the screw threads I'm not sure if there is an easier way of doing it but this is the way I sort of taught myself to do it. I think I saw somebody else doing it as well um, and that's kind of where I got this this way of doing it from but if there is an easier way, drop it down in the comments and I'll let me know. Um, I use Shape of 3D as my main um, drawing uh, program. So yeah, if there's an easier way, let me know. But I normally uh, make a triangle, I ex um, band it all the way around. And then once I've got that lined up at the top, I'll then just change the angle. And I'll just keep changing this over and over again until I get that screw thread nice and tight within the dimensions I want. Um, this seems to work for me to be honest um, I've made a, f a few different screw threads using nuts and bolts and things like that um, and yeah it's, it's worked for me and the way that I made this screw thread on the inside was I just copied this screw thread I originally made dragged it into place and then I just took that away from the g-clamp frame and that sort of left me with that internal screw um, that was the way that I wanted to do it um, there probably is another way but for me this is the only way that I know how right now um, and it works so if, it, if it's not broken don't fix it basically so you can see I've made this all one single piece this screw thread and what I needed to make was this little butt cap so this is the little bit that's going to go into the end of the screw thread and that's just going to form my other plate that's just going to hold stuff in place um, now I wanted to make this uh, spinning so that when I'm clamping down this little piece on the end that goes on the screw thread doesn't actually scratch and mark what I'm going to be um, using it to hold so I made that area quite big on the inside just so that it would pivot through and in the other end I made another little hole like this little square here um, I made that hole in the other end just so that when I put the handle in it just gives the handle something to hold on to just to give it a little bit of, of extra strength there when I'm tightening up because I will be putting quite a, a lot of force through that, that screw thread. So this is the little the little square pin here that's going to be going inside and I always make these slightly smaller than the hole um, just because if you make them exactly the same size where the printer prints it sort of expands the plastic slightly bigger than what you've actually made your dimensions as so I always make it a little bit smaller than the actual hole just to make sure that it is a, a nice snug fit but not too tight that you have to force it in and, and maybe break it so now I'm just rounding off all the edges just to make everything nice and neat um, just so it's, it feels nice in the hand and just looks a little bit nicer and this is how it ended up being um, really happy the way it's turned out I'm like the design so I've taken it over to my slicer which is Astro print and you can see this is how I originally wanted to to print it um, but I did come into issues some issues with that, which I'll show you shortly um, but the general settings are set are oh, the quality in the show I don't really mess about with the infill I've left at 20% 
uh, for my PLA I like to print a little bit hotter just because I feel like I get better adhesion between the layers so I print at 235 and I like my printer bed to be at about 65 degrees just to make sure it doesn't come off the bed. Now I do put a support on this just because there are some raised areas I do need it to be supported otherwise it just won't print basically. Um, I set the density on this um, a little bit higher just because I wanted to try and get a nice finish on the uh, on the actual part of the clamp that it's going to be supported um, and here you can see these are all the general settings I, I don't mess about with any of them I just keep all that exactly as it is um, and I'm not going to put a build plate adhesion on this either just because there's quite enough surface area to hold it down so once it's sliced it um, this is what it's going to look like now as I said I have changed this slightly as you'll see from the printing um, I, I originally sliced this all together and you can see where I've put supports under the clamp for some reason it puts supports underneath the spiral part um, the handle and the little end plate that goes on the spiral um, and I didn't really want that there just because I, I felt like it wasn't needed and also it would put loads of supports on that spiral but if you see the spiral you can't see the individual teeth because it puts supports on all of that as well so I ended up taking those three bits out and as you can see I'm just printing the actual G clamp bit here separately um, I then put the handle, the spiral and the little uh, plate that goes on the spiral I printed them separately as uh, all together as well um, and they all come out fine I didn't need to put a support on them so this took quite a while to print overall because um, I did have to do it individually and start it all but um, to be honest it, it went very quick as I, I did it overnight so by the time I woke up in the morning it was done. So after cleaning up here you can see I've put the screw thread in and it, it fits absolutely perfectly. It was a little bit stiff to begin with but after I put it through a couple of times it, it loosened itself up. So this is the handle with the little square pin that I made and I'm going to, just going to glue that into the end there with just some Gorilla Glue. Um, I find Gorilla Glue works really well with this stuff. Um, it doesn't melt it like some adhesives can um, and you can see here I can turn it absolutely perfectly and it's not breaking. Now this is the little cap that goes in the end. You can see where the, um, the end there had a little bit of uh, trouble printing but I left that grip there because I'm not too worried about it. And this is it actually in place. You can see it's working absolutely spot on. Um, it clamps the wood brilliantly. Um, I probably wouldn't be using things of this size in it just because that's a little bit too heavy but it, it was just there to show you that what it can actually do and it can hold a decent size amount of wood. So yeah, that's the build. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If there's something you want to see me design, drop it down in the comments below. If there's anything you can think of, as long as I can fit it on my printer, I'll print it and post it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next design.